this keyboard is really, really shit. Prepare for swear. You have been warned. In other words, it's beer and popcorn time, guys. Hello and welcome to this review of my Night Owl keyboard. Yeah, it's that monstrosity that I teased a little while ago. The sharp-eyed among you might have noticed that this appears on the surface to be a combination of two things I'm well known to hate, split ergonomic keyboards and foldable keyboards. Specifically, it looks like someone built the Fold 2000 into a Microsoft Natural keyboard. And yes, I hate it. I hate it with passion. Me and this thing do not agree with each other at all. The first and most obvious thing is that it's a split keyboard, of course. However, unlike a good ergonomic keyboard, it can't be adjusted in any way. The split is fixed and the keyboard is completely incapable of tenting, meaning that even real ergo peeps will probably not like it. I mean, it's like the designer ate a book on ergonomics and then laid this big old turd egg. And especially considering I'm not an ergo person, but still had to use it for a week, this obviously means that I rapidly grew a burning hatred for this gaping vagina anus of a cunt keyboard. Fuck. This. Shit. By the way, the name Night Owl comes from the fact that it's backlit, which, being from the early 2000s, makes this one of the earliest backlit keyboards that I know of. So, at least that's that. <laughs> I'll let you judge the quality of the lighting for yourself. <laughs> Second is the layout. Now, just because something is ergonomic doesn't necessarily have to mean that the layout is shit, but this one is. It's piss poop in a turd canoe, Jesus figure skating Christ. It's also not programmable, like the better ergo boards, so you can't do anything about it. So apart from the crappy isolated arrow cluster at the bottom here that even the rest of the same keyboard seems to want nothing to do with, the two halves are made in a very rounded shape, which means that all the keys on the outside have been deformed in order to fit the look. I guess that they're supposed to represent eyes and the arrow cluster and mouth, but look at what that's done to a lot of the keys. This poor control key, for example, it's tiny. Or oh, look how they defiled the split spacebar. It's an abomination of Satan. Apart from a bunch of missing keys, such as print screen and numpad and others, one of the worst offences of the layout is the staggering. Now at first you might not see this, but if you look at the QWERTY row, you might notice that there is a disproportionately large tab key, and as a consequence all the keys on that row are shifted over one unit. What imbecilic ignoramus thought, yes, let's just fuck up people's muscle memory for no reason whatsoever. Just... WHY?! But, between the nonsensical layout and the cronenberg up key shapes, I mean, just look at this sad situation right here. But anyway, at least you've got nice and accessible backlight buttons. And this blank button here that doesn't do anything at all. Why couldn't they've made this print screen or something? And finally, there's the switches. Well, switches, which is where it truly starts to get criminally insane. This is really what turns it from a failed ergo piece of shit into an absolute dismal farce. It uses exactly the same kind of switches as of the Fold 2000, which is one of the worst dumps of dinosaur dung I've ever come across. I don't know what cataclysmic donkey dick came up with that one, but I do know that they ought to hang their heads in shame. And that one at least had a normal full-size ISO layout without the gnarly key shapes. So anyway, you add a healthy dose of essence of excrement to that and you get the Night Owl keyboard. And this one's not even waterproof like the Fold 2000 is either, nor is it foldable nor washable, so what little utility that offence to humanity did have, they did away with it here and made the layout much worse. Just great, what sort of rampant ass based signed off on this? And Christ in glass slippers, I haven't even gotten to the key feel yet. Basically, they're blocks of silicone on top of a set of membranes, and it feels like it too. Think of it like typing on rubber domes, but directly on the domes, except they're not domes, but blocks of fake titties. It's very tactile, by the way, but not in a good way, and you can probably imagine the mushiness that comes with typing on mock knockers. They call it a sensuous, soft, tactile touch. See, even they acknowledge that they're counterfeit cleavage. This is just unbearable. Fuck me. No, actually, fuck this thing. Fuck it to hell and back again in a cheese basket. 
I tried to use it during gaming, and while I was able, barely admittedly, but still, to play some minion masters on it, which only uses these four buttons, and even then as single presses, as soon as I tried anything with it that requires any of the buttons to be held down, you know, like say, most games, it becomes absolutely impossible. Holding these keys down is just not doable in any realistic scenario, you just need to keep pressing them really fucking hard to keep making contact, which is not doable so you just end up walking and pausing constantly, for example. So I had to use my backup keyboard a lot during the testing period, which I can't say I felt sorry about, anything to take my hands off this blasted poo pudding of a keyboard. It's stiffer than you'd expect it to be too. You'd think a block of bouncy bogus boobage would be easy to press, but actually it's quite stiffly weighted, and together with a rather jarring tactility, it makes for a most unpleasant typing experience. I'd rather stick my dick in a pencil sharp in a fucking hellstrom. It does claim to be splash-proof, ash-proof, and several other things, but the electronics inside the housing are not proofed at all, so it's not waterproof at least, although I guess if you spill a small amount of liquid only into the silicone parts, it shouldn't matter. An old Amazon listing of it even claims that it's international award-winning, with an illuminating, exciting, fun design, which is the biggest load of bollocks I've ever heard. This is about as fun or exciting as syphilis. You can even see that there was an accompanying mouse to this cataclysmic hemorrhoid, it's also backlit. They describe it as a wheel optical mouse, which doesn't sound like it's got anything that a super basic mouse doesn't have. If you press down on it on these two points, then this, I really don't know what to describe this as by the way, maybe a keyboard anti-bra? comes out, and you could apparently exchange it for differently coloured ones, but I don't have any of them, so I'm stuck with this dickhead purple colour. I say anti-bra, because the keyboard makes me think like some old grandmother's deflated bosom or something. By the way, you can still get them on eBay for about £10. Yeah, you're welcome. There's no keycaps to speak of either, of course. The printing is done directly on top of the blocks of silicone, and it's some kind of pad printing. Unlike with the Fold 2000, there isn't a protective sheet over it as well, so I don't think this lettering would last very long at all. It also just looks absolutely hideous! Honestly, of all the keyboards I've ever seen, this might be the ugliest ever. I guess that it's supposed to look like an owl, hence the name, but to me it just looked like some sort of repulsive eyesore. I'd rather look at a 4K HD picture of Goatsy all day long. Overall, this avatar of diabolical diarrhea, this trumpet blast of sulfuric ass, is easily one of the worst things, I'd hardly even call it the keyboard, I've ever tested. And that's really saying something, considering all this infernal fecal matter I keep getting blessed with by you lot. It's like I've become curator of the poop museum or something. Fuck this abominable anathema. Anyway, I'm gonna end the video here, I don't want to look at this cunting contraption any longer than is strictly necessary, so I'm just gonna do the typing demo and then lock it up and never touch it again. Hope you enjoyed the video, and see you next time.